Welcome back guys to a very interesting video which is all leading up to the final storyline for Ark Survival Evolved, the Extinction DLC. Now I'm very excited to show you guys this because it's lots of very interesting information and there may be some of you guys that know a lot more about this than me so if you do make sure to tell me anything in the comment section down below about this but there may be some of you guys that didn't know a lot of this stuff and it is going to be very new to you but exciting at the same time. I am so looking forward to the Extinction DLC to see how the storyline does end and just have a new map really on Ark. It's going to be a load of fun and even it's going to be exciting to see what happens after the storyline finishes and after Extinction to see whether we get another season pass or to see if it's going to be Ark Survival Evolved to the sequel. You know, that is something we'll be finding out there. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at all the very interesting information that some of you guys may not have seen, which is the Explorer Notes within the Archaeology event and Extinction Chronicles 2. It's all very exciting, building up to Ark Survival Evolved, and we also think we know who the final boss is going to be. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because it really would mean a lot to me leading up to this Extinction DLC. We're learning more and more about this and I just can't wait any longer. It's nearly August now. I don't want to wish away time but just want to be able to play this DLC anyway. Let's get into this. So this is the Explorer Notes page and um, this has everything about the Explorer Notes and Hel Helena is the main person who we've all been talking about for a very long while who we think is going to be the final boss of the Extinction DLC. Now there's lots of information stuff and we could spend about two hours going through all of Helena's um, Explorer Notes but I don't think that's going to be something very fun for you guys to obviously go through so we're just going to be getting straight in with the very interesting information. Now something a lot of you guys may not know about is, which is like a massive shock to me, which I did found, I found out about this a long time ago but I actually, but when I found out about it I was so shocked and I never even put it into a video. But some of you guys may not know this. This is this guy basically asked that back way back in an Arc Digest number forty nine, which is when I first saw this. Um, this is kind of a random question, but the woman, but is the woman riding the raptor on the box art Helena? I've always thought so, but I'd like confirmation. And Wildcard did reply saying, as a matter of fact, she is. And this was said to be Helena, who everyone thinks is going to be the final boss of this Ark Survival Evolved storyline. Now I have no idea how this is going to work, if she's literally just going to be like an NPC that we're going to have to fight, or she's going to want us to join with us, join with her. I don't really understand all of it, but what I do know is that um, we've been sent to the Arcs to basically prove that we are a strong enough survivor to end up finding her, basically, which is kind of the way the storyline is going to work at the moment. We were sent to the Arcs to prove we're strong enough and tough enough, tough enough, and she's trying to find the strongest survivor. So, very interesting information there, and, um, and obviously we're going to be finding out more and more about her throughout these Explorer Notes. So this starts off here, um, which is um, which is all in the archaeology event. So hello, I'm so glad that I can speak to you. I've been waiting and waiting and all and always waiting for something, but now I can for one less thing. This is to say to you that you're the thing. Yes, I mean you specifically. You're the one I'm talking to, and I don't mean in that a general sense. These thoughts aren't a guess. I didn't just let them fl float out into the world. I'm hoping they would find someone. They're calculated exact. You're not the only one who will hear them, but all who do, do are meant to. These words are for you and all your kin, those who awoke upon an island in the sky. Whether you will, will heed them or not, that is harder to know. So that was the first one, and this was for the island, and then it goes basically the same for the Extinction Chronicles. You have the island, you have Aberration, and no, you have for the island, Scorched Earth, and Aberration. I find this all very creepy, but it is kind of cool at the same time to find out loads of this stuff leading up to the next thing. So this one was, I think this was for Scorched Earth. So everything is finite, I think. I'm hoping she's not saying Fortnite, but um, if your vision is long enough, um, planet, species, even this universe we occupy, all has a limit and an end. You're approaching one right now. 
Don't think of it as a sand falling to the bottom of an hourglass, but I'm probably saying that word wrong, but I'm just... I, I've never really seen it, to be honest. But the something glass, I'm, is, I'm, if I got it wrong, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Fading away completely. It can't be flipped around or reconstructed. It's irreversible. It's permanent. And if, if you want to stop it, you need to hurry. Let's not belittle you. You've been doing great, really, all of you, most of you. The ones getting eaten alive right now could be better, objectively speaking. The rest, though, great. You've advanced so far. Some through kindness, other few, few, few be, fr from being cruel. I couldn't even speak there. But both are aspects of humanity. Both are needed here on the brink. I think that says brink in the shadow of extinction. More than that, you'll need each other. You'll need help. So this kind of shows that we're going to need to work together, really. Like, we're going to have to work together if we're going to be able to beat this, uh, the ending boss. And it kind of, like, it doesn't seem that she's meant to be bad. This is the weird thing. This is what's strange about her being the final boss. Um, but, you know, it, it's all very interesting finding out more and more. So this one was for Aberration, this is the Archaeology event, and then we'll be moving on to the other three, which is the Extinction Chronicles number two. Some of you have formed strong bonds with, with others. You are connected not through blood, but shared experience. Mutual struggle, lean on those people, um, lean on those people, carry each other forward. That is your strength as a race. It is what will save you. Even those who are alone or are helped by others, time and space are not hard limitations in such matters. They are more fl fluid concepts than you might imagine. More on that later, or latter, or whatever they want to say there, or earlier. Sorry, it's hard to remember. To the point, those who came before or after, they are all helping you. Even those in the same time, but a different place. All of you are part of a shared equation, the answer of which will determine whether this is an end or a beginning. And I will help you too. My influence, I indirect, yet when you fall from the sky, I will be there, watching, waiting. This is why I say it is kind of creepy, but cool at the same time, because, like, it just makes you think, has Helena just been, is she just watching us non-stop when you're playing Ark? Like, is she literally just watching every survivor, all millions of us that have played this game? Like, it is just really strange. It's, it's really exciting, though, like, to think all of this stuff, like, you're not just playing on an Ark map, and that's it. There's a storyline behind it all, and how it's all gonna work. Um, but that is, like... She, she'd be known basically as the one who waits and I she's waiting for a survivor to come now I really want to find out I don't I know as much as you guys But I really just want to find out if she is the final boss What are we gonna do when we meet her like is she gonna attack us? Are we gonna try and does she is she gonna want us to fight her? Is she gonna want us to take over the arcs? It's all so crazy because another interesting thing here is but it says, is this the end of or, or a beginning? And I don't, this is like, again, a, a thing that, could it be the end of Ark Survival Evolved and then the beginning of Ark Survival Evolved 2? Or is she saying, is it an end or a beginning and it's just going to be the, the beginning? Because it's not going to be the end of Ark. The developers have a crazy game here. They're not going to let this be the end of it. And they've already said there's going to be a sequel uh, coming to the game. So it must be the end of arc 1 and moving on to arc 2. Or is it going to be the end of the storyline moving on to a new season pass or something? That's interesting. But now I'm going to be moving on to the arc chronicles notes. Which again is very interesting from her. I can't be certain when you'll find this um, sliver of thought. Perhaps it will be the first one that touches your mind or the last. Cause, cause and effect, and I can follow, or cause and effect, I'm sure it's cause and effect, and I can follow through reason, but time itself, that takes concentration. Seconds, centuries, decades, hours, minutes, all these bleed together into a swirling torrent. It wasn't always this way, I know that. Once time passed for me as it did for you, but now I cannot be sure how long I have been waiting, only that has felt eternal. The past, the present, the future... Uh, and the future matter um, as their effect on everything else. But for me, concepts, variables, this is just crazy. Like, we're reading this, it's weird. And one thing is very interesting is when uh, she says, um, second centuries, decades, hours, minutes, all these bleed together in a swirling torrent. It wasn't always this way, I know that. Once time passed for me, as it did for you. 
I really, I, I, that this is all like mind blowing to like be reading at the moment because there's so much this could all mean. But this one was for the island um, uh, notes, which we're going to be going through. But we're now going to be going into which one is Scorched Earth, as you guys can see. I should explain, shouldn't I? I mentioned the future, but I should have said futures. You see the universe, the whole of it, it's all math eventually. Everything has a value that feeds into equation. You, the stars, the trees, you assaulted for bundles of thatch. Yes, I saw that. Very rude. Now, this was something which a lot of people think links to Naked Zombo, the YouTuber, um, where something to do with the thatch, you know, from his videos. I think it come. It, I don't know if it is going to be about him. It would be crazy to be a YouTuber that did Ark Survival Evolved and then actually be mentioned in the game. Like, I would love that for myself. Like, if World Card, if you're watching this, put me in the game. No, but like, you know, it would be crazy. But, um... That's that's pretty crazy that, you know, that was said. But back to the math. The future's made of it too. More specifically, probabilities. They twist and branch in all directions, so tangled that most beings can't sort through them. I can't see it all, but I can find the most likely threads and follow them along. After all, it's just math. So if you guys can obviously work this out and understand this a bit better than I do, I try to explain as much as I can. But if you can understand a little bit more to this, then make sure to let me know because like um, in the comment section and I will pin the most, you know, well, the biggest thing that, you know, whoever knows the most about this because, and I will favourite some as well so the comments will be at the top, just, you know, reading through it, what makes the most sense because it all is so exciting but strange at the same time. Um, but I want to find out more about this and she does talk a lot about math but the one thing I do not understand is I mentioned the future but I should have mentioned uh, but I should have said futures. So does this mean um, the future of Ark? Is she talking about, is is this, could this link to the, again, as not the sequel? You know, there's so many things that fly around in my head when I, you know, when I'm reading all of this, because I don't know what Ark's roadmap is. They've never actually explained a roadmap, but one, like, of what's to come for the game. But a very interesting thing is maybe this roadmap is all going to be sh revealed and shown through these explorer notes if you guys get where i'm coming from it's it's crazy it's crazy they keep a lot of things a secret and that is different from a lot of games a lot of games show you what they think you know what is coming next and wildcard do that but a lot of stuff they do keep very secret so this is the final one we know about so far for aberration and um Words, um, like so there's loads of stuff here, but words and names are not explicitly necessary to process the world within oneself, but they are important when conveying it to others. I don't have one, one of those, not as I am now, not anymore. This is all crazy. Others have found that problematic, so they say things like the nameless. Um, I'm not even going to say that word, but you guys can say it to your, like, you guys can read it on the screen, and whatever. They describe my qualities, if poorly, but not who I am. I am, as a being who possesses free will, or as much of it as one can truly possess within this universe, who I am is the sum of my actions. I am what I do, and what I do is wait for you, for the earth, for everything. I wait on and on into forever i wait and wait so that is who i am i am the one who waits so it is kind of again as i said really creepy like this is crazy but it's really interesting at the same time the one thing i wanted to talk about again um, was words and names are not explicitly necessary to process the word the world within oneself but they are important when conveying it to others I don't have one of those, as, uh, not as I am now, not anymore. Is she not human anymore? This is what the one thing that so many people are getting confused about and something I'm lost about because as we go back to Arc Digest 49, we were told this was Helena. So who is she? Like, it, it's creepy. It's really creepy. Like, we know she, she was a human. Is she still going to be a human? Is she going to be... A, you know like some new boss I, I i really don't know this is so much for you guys as well to work out um because i want to work out this whole story myself it's crazy it's uh, something you would have never expected from arc because 
I feel like Ark was so popular when the game came out, and it still is very popular now. Like, it's, if you look on the Steam charts, it's right at the top still, and so many people still play it on the console. It's ridiculous how many people play the game, which is great. But it's definitely gone down in popularity. That happens with every game. But I feel like so many people who have played this game have missed this storyline of how it's all going to come together. And what I would love is, I know loads of people will come back to the game for new DLCs anyway. But what I would love is everyone to come together for the final Extinction DLC. Something massive that explains the whole thing. What we were all here for. Like, you know, it, it would be crazy. And I could go into so many different possibilities of what this could be. But I don't want to talk too much about this. I only want to obviously show you guys this information. But it is crazy. And I don't know how many times I've said the word crazy. But it that just sums it up. Like, I've probably said it about 10 times. But it's all interesting to find out. And as I said... If you guys know any like a secret information that I may not have talked about, the whole storyline, break it down. I know that's something long for you guys to do, but if anyone has the passion about the game like I do, then make sure to put it and I will pin it or favorite it, anything like that. But that really is going to be the end of the video I can share with you guys today. So much to look forward to. It's coming up to August now, and that means we're actually not too far away from this DLC and there's not long to wait. There's going to be more of these arc, I think, more of these arc chronicles coming up. So we're going to be learning lots more about it. So that is what I'm really looking forward to, learning more and more towards the end. So that's going to be building us up more to the final, well, the final storyline and the release of the Extinction DLC. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm sure you've had enough of me talking today, but it's been exciting and I, I'm happy that I can share with you guys this news. So if you are hyped for the Extinction DLC and all this, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new and have those notifications turned on. This is big. It's exciting. There's lots to look forward to within ARC and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.